Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. We're taking a look at the UEFA Champions League. Interesting fixtures going down all across Europe, and we are monitoring it. Yes, football gets us talking. Uh, but let's divert now and talk about uh, women's football in Nigeria. The yep. Super Falcons, when you talk about them, look, you must smile and you must stand up to show respect because whenever the Super Falcons play, the ladies, when they step out, they just go all out to win. And so the Super Falcons, they won the African Women's Cup of Nations title for a record ninth time. Nine times they have won that competition. And they also qualified for next year's World Cup in France. Now, the World Cup is big deal. Why? Nigeria has not missed out of the FIFA Women's World Cup since 1991. But the performance hasn't been so good. And with this team that we're having now, the same look, we are fired up. We want to change the narrative. We want to tell a different story. Nigeria Football Federation, equip us, make us ready. Prepare us properly so we can go and face the world. Remember now, this is the world. Cosmos, when you saw the draw, mm. did you fear for the Super Falcons? Not exactly. I, I felt um, it's a group that um, Nigeria can be able to thrive on if we prepare well. Um, you know, that group reminds me of the only time that Nigeria, you know, did well at the World Cup. I'm talking about the 1999. At that time, Nigeria were in the group with the hosts. Remember? United mm. States of America. At that time as well, Nigeria were in the group with South Korea as well. And of course, we're in the group with Norway. Now, look at the similarities. Mm. Norway, uh, uh, at, uh, sorry, with Denmark. Denmark at that time, Scandinavian team, uh, alongside Norway as well, Scandinavian team. Of course, South Korea, Nigeria defeated um, South Korea in the first game 2-0. Of course, it's an Asian team. And of course, Nigeria played the host in the final match. The play the host, uh, sorry, in the second to the final match in uh, the United States of America, and of course the host are there as well. Now, before then, United States of America has defeated defeated Nigeria in a friendly by eight goals to nil. France defeated Nigeria in a friendly so, as well some months ago by eight goals to nil. Now, prepare well against this side, mm. and I feel that Nigeria will be able to do well. Yes, yeah, technically, um, this side are very very good, but prepare well. Now, the NFF, mm, their job is to make sure that. They prepare well. I mean, I, I was listening to Aziza Tosho last um, speak um, during the African Women's Cup of Nations about Nigeria winning, you know, struggling to win the African Women's Cup of Nations. And she says something. You give us a better preparation, we would have won this competition seamlessly. Now, they struggle to win. Now, give them the best of preparation. You have about six months. Prepare them. The first game is on June, I mean, Competition opens June 7, first game is June 8. Mm. Prepare them very well, and certainly they will do well. And I think the NFF are trying on that. Now they are working on getting them into invitational tournaments in um, China yeah. and Cyprus. Yeah. Now they are conquering um, Asia, um, Asia and Europe. So, you know, with this kind of preparation, not a disparity because, I mean, you gave the super egos the best of preparation and, you know, no, you know what happened? That's what, that's what the NFF promised them. Mm. Say, so win this championship. Exactly. We will give you double bonus and then we will get you good preparation for the World Cup. Cosmos, let's just remind our viewers once again, uh, the 2019 uh, FIFA Women's World Cup. Uh, after the draw was done, this is what the groups look like. In Group A, we have the host country, France, Korea Republic, Norway, and the Super right. Falcons of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That's why you say it doesn't worry you. As far as I'm concerned, ah. as I said, preparation is key. France, I mean, France is one of the um, uh, best teams in, the comp in, in, in world football. But then, give Nigeria the best of preparation. Uh, funny enough, we're playing France at the third game anyway. Hey. First game is against Norway. <clears throat> I can remember Norway defeating Nigeria in Sweden. So just do all you can. Beat Norway. Norway defeated Nigeria in Sweden in 1995. Leave history. Leave, leave Tell yeah, me. Sometimes <laughs> you have to go back. Sometimes you have to go back. I but know. then prepare yeah. well. I feel we have the best of players like we did in 1999. And they want when to we impress. Did well. And they're fired they up. Do, I they mean, want from to the give their best. To the, I mean, you know, all those... Um, um, I love the bond in the team spirit of exactly. this current team. And it's a mix of of youth and experience. Exactly. And we've seen that if they spend more time together, 
They can blend. I mean, and that's what Thomas Denaby has been saying. He said, look, this team just needs to play more. They need more playing time. And that's the thing. And that is what the, the, the coach, I mean, the coach is actually very spot on. I mean, the South Africans did well at the African uh -huh. Women's Cup of Nations. See because how much they played, games they played. Before the competition, they played uh, close to 16 games. Wow. You understand what I'm trying to say? And they did well. Now, Nigeria started doing well. In fact, in the final game mm. against South um, Africa, yeah, where we they could played see. well, yeah. you could see the synergy between mm -hmm. them. Fine, they were not scoring goals, but you could see the synergy between them. That so for me, prepare them, take them to invitational tourneys, let them defeat them 14 new. Let them <laughs> defeat them 11 new. <laughs> but then you will see that they will be good. Mm. Um, they will get better. And when they get better, right. they go into the competition they and they will press. So that's what the group looks like for Nigeria in Group A, France, Korea, Republic, Norway, and Nigeria. Cosmo says, look, it doesn't bother him. What do you think? Uh, talk to us, this group particularly. Uh, let's give attention to it on Twitter, channels underscore sports. Let's go to Group B now, uh, where we have Germany, China, Spain, South Africa. Yeah. What sort of group is now, that? South Africa, uh. I saw that group. And I was fearing for them. I was scared for them. Uh, you have Germany, former world champion. China, oh. China, you know, uh, one of the best teams in the world. And you mm. have South Africa. So and Spain. You have Spain as well that are doing very They're well in women's football, women's yeah, football right yeah. now. And you have South Africa, debutant to the World Cup. Oh. I mean... But, but the good thing is that they are friendly. And they are not worried. The they're coaches, not worried. They're not worried that they're they taking friendly. it one step at a time. Exactly. They love what they've done with the team in preparing for the African Women's Cup of Nations. Mm. And now they are taking that same momentum yeah. to the World Cup. Let's take a look at Group C. There's Australia, Italy, Brazil, and Jamaica. I don't care what's going to happen in that Jamaica one. Jamaica is a whipping yeah. voice. Group whipping, D. Whipping ladies in that. <laughs> Group D, there's England, yeah. Scotland, Argentina, and Japan. That's a huge group. I know. I know. The, the women's football competitive. But then Japan, like... Japan will come out of the game. Yeah, Japan, well, Japan and England. Well, but don't be rushed to, to say it that way because, I mean, it's football and at this level anything can happen. In Group E, there's Canada, yeah. Cameroon. That's one concerns us because our West African mm -hmm. sisters are there. And New Zealand and, and Netherlands. Netherlands. Now, Netherlands, mm. European champions. New Zealand are doing excellently well in women's football. Mm. Canada. Canada, former world champion as yeah. well. But they are huge. They but, are good. Uh, uh, but it doesn't worry me. I love the teams representing Africa at this, at this World Cup because these are teams with promise. The Nigerian team, on a good day, they will get their results. Cameroon prepare well. But they've shown the signs at the Cup of Nations. Saying. It would be silly to go to sleep when you have a big tournament. The African Women's Cup of Nations is different from the FIFA Women's Cup. Of course, World we Cup. agree. But and that is why we say prepare these teams well. But out of the three teams, it seems it's just South Africa that is getting near to mm. what preparation of a competition should be. Cameroon still have issues. I mean, they, they still have issues with, you know, scoring goals, especially on the run of play and um, defensive frighties. Exactly. Same with Nigeria. So they need to prepare they well. Need, they need World Cup, more World Cup playing time. So let them go to the World Cup, see that it is different from playing in Africa, and then they will learn from it. But I believe that Africa can create an upset. I'm not saying they will go and win, yeah. but they will change some of the analysis. Change the narrative. Yeah, that all of us will come out and say, oh, nothing, they are coming back, first round, second round. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to see so. so the final group, which is Group F, uh, we have the United States of America. No, I have to call it well, the champion. United States of America. Yeah. Uh, the lead group, Group F, and uh, there's Thailand, there's like Chile. Chile. And Sweden. So, so easy in this group. I can call it like I can call it yeah. when I'm sleeping. So you just say US. US Sweden. Sweden. That's what oh, you say. Thailand, Chile. Oh, yeah. no. Okay. <laughs> Cosmos. Uh, so we're saying preparations. Now the Super Focus need to prepare to compete properly at the uh, 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. But Francisca Odega says we also need good team efforts, good team spirit to impress at the World Cup. Let's listen to Francisca Odega. It's not just a day job. It's not something you just wake up and go to the world to perform or to bring yeah. back the trophy or something people are expecting from you. You have to give. It's like a give and take. For you to get there, yeah. you have to get yeah. enough preparation, a good preparation, and 
It's just like you're going through the wall. You have to prepare that you're going to get something. You can't just stand up and go to the wall like that. You will get killed. So if we have enough preparation, we have a lot of good, talented players, and we have time to blend together a lot of um, games, international friendlies, and that will help a lot. It depends on preparation. So if we have those things, I think we'll go. We'll, it's not just a date thing, but at least we'll start from somewhere. So I think that will help a lot. So star girl Francisca Odega says um, it's a combination of a lot of things, but mm -hmm. in the middle is good preparation. She says, look, we just go and, and give our best, but hey, get us well. Prepare us properly. It is what you sow, you reap. Cosmos, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. Mm. And so that's it. We'll go on this timeout. Uh, let you see highlights from the last edition of the Lagos City Marathon. When we come back, Bukola or Lokmadi, uh, sports administrator with a lot of experience, will be here to discuss different issues going down in our world of sports. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> edition of the Lagos City uh, Marathon. These Kenyans, these Ethiopians, these guys <laughs> from North Africans, they come here and they show us how to run, you know. And for them, they have a structure, they have a system in place that is making them impressed. For me, I love the fact that we're beginning to see reasons to organize international competitions, get recognized, and also remind us that we can also have long-distance runners in this country. And that's why we're giving attention tonight to the development of marathons. They say, marathons is not a Nigerian thing. Yes, it can be a Nigerian thing because we have the market. Not just the marathon, we'll talk about football, the Nigeria National League. That's one also burning issues that we need to understand. So tonight, we will understand the issues. And I looked around, I said, who is, who is rounded? Who can I bring that can talk this, talk that, talk this? Bukala Olokpade is the man to bring. <laughs> he's involved with the marathons. He's involved with football. He's the president of the wheelchair basketball. Former. Former. What are <laughs> Patron, daddy of wheelchair. That's right. <laughs> wheelchair basketball in Nigeria. And of course, we also brought him to take a look at the National Sports Festival. So, Bukala, it's good to have your sports tonight. Austin, always a pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for coming Again, around. Good evening, we'll, viewers. Yeah. So, we will get to the marathons later. Let's Talk about this one that is everywhere. Because I don't also I don't understand the issues. What's going on with the NLA? By the way, good job. I love the competition we saw with the Nigerian National League this season. Thank it you. was really good. And that's good for our football. Because if it's good at that level, it means it can be better at the MPFL. What's going on? Thank you very much for um, the compliments. I thought the biggest um, brand positioning for the uh, Bet Niger, Niger National League this year was the fact that the deputy governor of Edo State 
actually was registered. I didn't even know mm. until I As saw a him. Player. Yeah, I didn't know until I saw him uh, got substituted into uh, the match in Lagos. You know, <laughs> I, I thought that was, is what they used to when they know that all was well. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. That, that, that shows mm. you that somewhere along the line, some governments with clubs owned by them mm. are beginning to pay more attention yeah. to it. And I think um, you're correct. We've been able to uh, reposition the Bet Nigeria, Nigeria National League. Let's just pause right there with that. I'll come back to you. That's just this little introduction I want from Bukola. Let's go on this break. When we come back, you'll continue just right where you stop. So don't go anywhere. <laughs>